A push for cleaner energy, bringing more solar panels to our state. Duke Energy is opening some huge solar power plants as part of a push to create a community solar program. Later today, they're holding a ribbon cutting at their new Bay Trail Renewable Energy Center on US 19, Senko's Boulevard and Crystal River. Big deal here. Brightside's Aaron Parsegian has an inside look for us this morning and how you can take advantage of it. This brand new solar power plant in Crystal River is already operational, but by this fall, it will generate enough energy to power 23,000 homes. It's energy captured by 197,000 of these on-site solar panels that follow the sun's movement throughout the day. Duke Energy's Bay Trail Renewable Energy Center is one of the first facilities built as part of the company's new Clean Energy Connection program. That was sparked because they say customers are interested in supporting clean renewables. And this gives them a way to do that without having their own panels at home. Through the program, Duke Energy Florida customers can actually subscribe to power generated by a facility just like this and earn credit towards their electricity bills without having to install or maintain their own equipment. And this is just one of 10 new solar power plants Duke Energy has planned to have in operation by 2024. Let's take a deeper dive into what it would cost you to have private solar panels. It could be anywhere between 10 to 15,000 for equipment and setup. There are federal tax credits to pay you back around 20% of that cost, but that initiative is set to expire in 2024. Now that you have everything up and running, on average, U.S. customers can expect to save 1,500 a year by going solar. Doing the math, if you spend on the high end 15,000 for that setup, solar power pays for itself within 10 years.